assalamu alaikum and good morning today we will discuss about input output redirection what it means is that you are directing your input or the output from the default destination to a desired destination it comes in handy when you want to write something to your file directly from the command terminal so to understand the redirection we must first discuss the standard streams so there are three standard streams the standard input stream it is simply the inputs that you give to your terminal commands. The standard output is the output generated and displayed on the terminal window when your command is executed successfully. And the standard error is the error that is generated and displayed on the terminal window when the command fails to execute successfully. So what do we mean by these, stan by these <coughs> standard streams? So suppose uh, I use the ls command to list the files or the folders present in the desktop directory. So here the desktop is from the standard input stream and the, dis the, the files displayed here are the standard output stream. So now if I use an input that does not exist, a new folder I know that there is no directory or folder named as new folder present in the current directory. So it will definitely return the error and this is from the standard error stream. So what is redirection? Redirection is redirecting your input or the output from the default destination to the desired destination. Here we will only discuss the output stream, not the input stream. So for example, desktop. Here at the desktop, I have a file named as animals. And if I want to write the content of animals file to the terminal window, I use the cat command. Cat animals.txt. It will display the output in the output the contents of the animal.txt file. So if I want to redirect this output from the terminal window to a new file, new text file. I simply use the greater command get animals.txt redirect to new file.txt. So it will generate a new file and put this content in this new file. So if I want to, if you want to check the content of new file. here we go the content is written there in the new file so this method is used when you want to generate a copy of your file and uh, edit this new file experiment with this with the new file and your original content is saved in the animals.txt file so whenever you want to return to your original file you can do simply by uh, shifting to the animals.txt and keep experimenting with the new file. So, so now if you want to write a line, a comment from the terminal window to your uh, file, what you do is uh, we have the echo command that simply outputs what you give it as an input. Now if I redirect this output which is displayed in the terminal window to the file, new file, what I do is echo, suppose I read, I enter a new name to the new file, that txt. So what we get is new file txt. So we can see that complete data is overwritten. So if you want to keep the, the previous content of the file as well, what you do is use the double getter signs. So let us restore the new file first get animals.txt 
new file dot txt get new file dot txt so what we do is echo red new file dot txt get new file dot txt so now we can see that new a new line is added to our new file txt file and the content the previous content is already also present in the new file so that's all for now i hope you have you will like it if you like our content please subscribe our channel